entrepreneurs are maladjusted individuals. What does, what does that mean? It means that there's something uh, which um, is out of balance uh, in their personalities that drives them to make huge effort uh, and to take a much greater level of risk than other people would. I'm Ronald Cohen. Uh, I chair the Portland Trust, uh, the advisory board of Bridges Ventures. Uh, I co-founded and uh, was the first chair of Big Society Capital, where I still uh, sit uh, on the board. And I chair the global uh, task force uh, on impact investment, uh, which uh, started off with the G8 and uh, now has uh, expanded to include 13 countries in the EU. I was born in Egypt. I left uh, Egypt as a refugee with my family at the age of 11, came to Britain. Uh, my wife is Israeli. Uh, her father was commander of a ship called the Exodus, which uh, became famous because it brought Holocaust uh, survivors uh, to Israel. The Portland Trust is an action tank as opposed to a think tank. It focuses on one of the most difficult issues of our time, which is the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. And it uh, started in 2003. Everybody was looking at uh, the security or the political uh, tracks, if you like, to resolve the conflict. And nobody was really bothering about what was happening to the economic lives uh, of Palestinians and the poor Israelis. Both sides use economics as a weapon. And trying to break down uh, this uh, sort of received wisdom uh, that uh, on both sides uh, you're better off um, forcing uh, poor economics on, on the other side uh, is a major challenge. I have roots, if you like, on both sides of this conflict um, and I felt that uh, I really had an obligation to try to do something about it. Uh, my experience in venture capital has been a bit of a a bit of a, a map uh, for me in impact investment. When there begins to be a perception that there's a lot of money around it, it's easy to raise money, then people like yourselves begin to say, why shouldn't I go out and raise some money? And then a little later, when you see people becoming successful, you begin to think if the idiot next door did it, why shouldn't I be able to, uh, to do it? We're in this intermediate phase today where there isn't so much money around that uh, social entrepreneurs whether they be uh, running not-for-profit organizations or whether they be running for-profit, profit-with-purpose organizations, as we call them, uh, to have the perception that actually it's quite easy to raise, uh, to raise money. So a lot of effort is being expended in beginning to create a sense uh, that uh, there is uh, an opportunity to raise money quite easily. So if you look at what big society capital has done in three years, it's helped bring 500 million pounds to investment organizations that are funding uh, not-for-profits to achieve scale and innovation. Uh, we've gone beyond the 19th century and before where we measured uh, financial return. We've gone beyond the 20th uh, century where we measured uh, risk and return. And we're in a century where we're all very concerned about social and environmental impact. Well, we're here at Bridges Ventures. Um, Bridges was started uh, by Michelle Giddens, Phil Newborough, and uh, myself in, two, in 2002. It is today one of uh, the real leaders uh, in the impact investment space, probably the biggest uh, organization um, in managing um, professional funds. And a lot of the conversations that are taking place are about it's taking off. For me, it's no different uh, than Bill Gates saying that um, you know, he was going to set up a, a, a company that was going to revolutionize uh, the computer business. He had a vision for it. He felt that it was achievable. And he set about doing it. And he overtook um, Leviathans uh, like IBM. Uh, that were considered to be completely impregnable. And, and I think the same is going to happen here. The evidence um, around impact investment today is very much that it is an idea whose time has come.